Hello, Woodstock students. Uh, this is Mr. Brennan, and I'm going to start the first of what might be, or I hope to be, several um, Fusion 360 tutorials. Uh, in this first tutorial, I'm going to try to show you a couple things that uh, I've learned in uh, my first hour or so of, of playing around with um, Fusion 360, um, and hopefully I can save you some time with this five or ten minute video okay so first we will uh, just get fusion 360 up and running takes a few seconds well that actually took more than a few seconds it took maybe a couple of minutes so don't be alarmed if it takes some time for your um, for your software to open uh, okay, what have I learned? I've learned that um, up here, if you've done any previous pro uh, projects, you can go to this sort of, uh, you know, um, this, uh, little boxes here, and you can op open up previous projects, and these are things I've been playing around with, and that's kind of a toggle switch. You can get that to be hidden or open up, so that's easy enough uh, to find things that you've been working on. Um, and uh, let, let's just uh, get into something. Let's try to make a let's try to make a wheel with an axle. Uh, you know, just a uh, um, couple of things that uh, you know you might might want to try. Right. So um, uh, you notice there are all kinds of buttons and such up here, but there's also these drop down menus. And I'm going to jump right into that because I want to make a sketch. And if I'm going to make a wheel with an axle, um, it makes some sense that I would select a circle and uh, I'm going to stick with this two-point circle I'll show you what that means what that how you work with that in just a second but we'll pick that just to start and I'm going to say I'm going to make like a 60 millimeter wheel um, with a I don't know a 20 millimeter uh, axle okay um, we'll, we'll see how that goes okay so here we'll select the circle and I've got to select a um, a plane to work in. So uh, I'll pick this one and you'll see it kind of rotates to a certain point. Okay. So I'll pick the first point and notice here on the screen it says place the second point on the diameter. So as I move out, I start to, uh, you know, uh, kind of create uh, my second point. I'm, I'm, I'm creating the diameter of the circle. And you notice it says 40. 9, 52, but I can just go ahead and type in the dimension I want. So I've taken my finger off the uh, mouse pad, and I'm just going to type in 60 and enter, and then I'm all set, okay? And now I've got a circle that's uh, um, 60 millimeters. So I'm just going to hit enter, and that finishes my uh, circle. So I've got a circle that is now 60 millimeters in, in diameter. Um, and I would like that to maybe have a certain thickness because right now it's just a, it's just a drawing, a two dimensional plane, kind of a, uh, X, Y plane. I'm not sure if I've got the right axes here, but I've got, you know, two plane, uh, two, two coordinates, right? So let's try to make it, uh, uh, thicker, right? Let's give it some third dimension. So to do that, I go here to, uh, you see where I, I, I can highlight or hover on the create button on this little box here and it says extrude so we can add depth to a closed sketch profile or a planar face well I've just made a, a face I made a, a circle so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna select that okay it rotates it so that you're kind of at an angle I'm gonna select the face and notice I ha now have a uh, an arrow that I can follow and I can pull that arrow out or back in, right? So now I'm making it, uh, you know, whatever whatever uh, thickness I want. And right now it's 20 millimeters. Let's make it let's make it um, 30 millimeters. There, I'll hit enter, and now I've got a 30 millimeter um, <clears throat> wheel. Okay, this is. Maybe not the greatest uh, example. It looks it looks a little thick for the diameter, but what the heck? You can you can play around with this yourself and and make it whatever you want. So that's my that's my tire. That's my wheel. Um, what about the axle? So I go back to sketch, and I go to circle, and I'm going to do another two point circle, and I'll select the same face because I that'll be helpful for later. 
So again, I'll pick the first point and start to open it up for a second point. And I forget what I said earlier. Maybe I said 20, 20 millimeters as my axle. Okay, 20 and enter. And then anytime you want to be done with uh, something you're doing, you hit enter and that, that will kind of finish off the task. So here's another 20 millimeter um, uh, circle and I would like to extrude it. So now I've got two things I could pick. I'm going to pick this one. And how tall do I want to make it? Let, let's, let's make that pretty long. Uh, you know, maybe that's going to be, uh, um, I don't know, 90 millimeters. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, 90. And then enter. So there's my axle. Okay. So what I've done so far is I've created a wheel. I've created an axle. And now, of course, I'd like this to, like, be you know, on here, right? I'd like that to be kind of connected. Now, uh, here's a here's one quick warning. Um, there may be a much better way of doing this, but um, I'm going to try uh, doing what I have been doing um, to just share with you, like, what I've learned. Um, but you may figure out or find out from somebody else or find out from another tutorial a way better way to do this, okay? But um, let me just go ahead and, and do it. I'm going to try to now highlight this okay so there is my object and now if i hit my right mouse button i get a chance to move this and i've got ways to move it i could move it up and i could move it in this direction and notice how it's like just blending into my earlier one right so that's okay i can pull it out okay and it's clear that i'm not on the surface okay let me get it close to the surface and let's say i was happy with that or at least wanted to take a look at it for the moment okay let's say i thought that was okay i'm going to hit enter that ends the action and now it might look like this is sitting on the surface uh it's hard to tell so i'm going to um go down here to this orbit um uh, key and select that and that's going to allow me to kind of rotate this into a spot that uh, makes it easier okay so uh, now again look it's, I've still got the orbit um, icon on the screen so if I hit enter I'm back into kind of selection mode okay so let me uh, select this again I want to move it Let's see is that going to work let's hope so okay right click move and here we go again. So I'm going to move it this way. And, you know, I could go in. You can sort of see a shadow of it inside there. Okay. So I'm going to just move it back out so that it's on the surface. And I'll hit enter. And now that looks okay. It looks like it's on the surface. Um, and let's see if it's centered correctly, right? I mean, we want an axle that is uh, on, a, on a wheel that is centered properly. So let's go to our, our orbit tool again and, and turn it this way. And it's pretty clear that it's off center, okay? So I don't want to go too long with this. I, you know, uh, let me hit enter just so I'm not doing anything um, accidentally. Um, you know, I would obviously want to select this again and move it towards the center. And maybe there's a great centering tool. I, like I said, I'm like an hour or two hours into my exploration here. And, um, you know, uh, don't know that much. But I thought it would be helpful to at least show, you know, how to kind of create certain images, right? If you go back to sketch here, uh, you can create polygon, you can create a rectangle and so on. Um, lots of lots of things you can do uh, to start making other shapes and start bringing them together. Okay, um, so I just wanted to get a, a, a quick start here uh, to show some important things we might want to be able to do. Okay, um, hopefully there'll be more of these videos and they'll be more sophisticated and um, and maybe you'll create some to help out uh, yourself and your classmates. Okay, good luck. Thanks.